Hello there and welcome to the new Tableau dashboard tutorial and in this Tableau dashboard tutorial I will show you this very simple and clean looking retail sales dashboard and as you can see in this dashboard uh, the overall focus is on having the clean and simpler layout as I said uh, with the help of the colors which we want to highlight like for example retail sales dashboard or the KPI values and their names and then down there all the charts and everything and then we use uh, we have used the grayish background to complement it with the white uh, background of the charts and the KPI so that we are not going too much of a distance and then if you will observe the title which we have shown it over here is something which is not not catchy from a perspective that it is not taking the attention away of the user from the chart to the title they are there so that they want to just see it they see it but it is not the way we want to put a special focus so keeping all of these things in the mind i have created this retail sales dashboard for you uh, overall like i said keep in mind that uh, design is the most important aspect over here rather than the matrix or the charts which you can use also uh, if you want to create a similar chart based on your own requirement however the chart which you see at the bottom the two bar charts which is the sales by pro product subcategory and sales by region they are the one which is basically having a functionality. If you will observe that only the first bar is highlighted with the, uh, with the uh, you know, color and then rest other are blank. So what it basically indicates is that this is the top first value or the top value is something which we have highlighted. Similarly, you can do like top two, top three, top five, or even you can make it dynamic with the help of the parameters. So I will show you how you can create this simple looking dashboard in a slightly faster way because this is not like a Tableau tutorial from the scratch to be honest but it is more from the perspective of uh, how you can create a layout like this. If you want to know how you want to create it from the scratch I have uh, given some links in the description below from where you can see how you can create visualization like this and then put it in a dashboard altogether. I will show you how you can put it, uh, put these things in a dashboard because that's where most of the work is going on. But from a visualization side, from component side, I have a few links through which you can go if you are completely new into the, uh, into, into the tab view. All right, um, before I move ahead, just one thing that uh, if, if you have any dashboard or uh, if you want to Ask for any suggestion, let me know into the comments uh, based on the data that you are having or based on the dashboard suggestion you want to have. I will just try to give you my help as, as much as possible. And as per the time permits, most of the time it's, it's, uh, it's a bit difficult with you know balancing it with the work and office, but, uh, but we'll try during the weekends that I reply most of the queries. All right. With that, let's go ahead and let me take you to my next screen here. All right, so here the same screen is coming to you, which is the uh, retail sales dashboard. So what we have uh, is the very first chart, which is sales by region chart. And you will see it's very straightforward that region from here, from the location, we have it here. And then we have the columns. Within the columns, we have some from here, some of sales. So when you drag these values, it will by default going to pick that up. You, you already know that. So only thing which is special going on here is the top sales. This is the top sales, right? So for example, if we see West here, but in case of technology, East is basically your highest one and we have highlighted it. So if you want this type of a feature in your visualization, say for example, you are working on a dashboard which require highlighting the values like the parts or a certain section of the pie, you know, in such a way that um, it should highlight the top single value or the top value or the top two value or the top three value, then in that case, you will going to 
uh, use this calculation. So what is this calculation? I'll show you. Over here is the top sales which I have created with the help of calculated fields. And here in the calculated fields, what you have is the sum of sales wrapped with the rank function. So what it gives is the top value is the first rank, then the second rank, then the third rank. And here, with the help of this logical operator, I am saying that only evaluate if it is less than equals to one, that means top one. If I want top two, I will just say two, click apply, and I have two values or the two bars. Okay, so, so that's a function which you can write it right from here. It's very simple. So no need to, uh, you know, get a little bit fr frustrated or intimidated by this. But yeah, it's a very simple one. All right, so once we have this top sales over here on the color, this is how the calculation is coming. And what I've done is I've gone into the color, edit color, and then false is something I have put it as white, as you can see from the color. And true color is nothing but this one. So what you do is write this 457B9D. This is something which you will going to uh, use if you are following this particular theme which I have shown it over here. But feel free to you to work with your own color because different organization have their different requirement in terms of colors. So you can follow the theme but utilize your own color, all right? So with that, uh, other than this, what I've done is uh, just added the order date over here, as you can see, and then the segment, which is this, and the category. And uh, before I move ahead, just one quick thing which I think forgot to mention is the data set. So data set is something which is over here. It is a very simple, uh, your inbuilt Dash, uh, Tableau dashboard data set, which comes with the Tableau software, uh, the Tableau uh, sample superstore. So you don't need to go anywhere or, uh, you know, I've seen people in the past have asked me for this dashboard, access data for this dashboard, but you really have this, dash, this, this data set with your Tableau software. All right, so with this, uh, the next thing is sales by product subcategory. Again, a very simple chart where you have the product subcategory, you have some of sales, and you have this top sales, which is on the color. And like I said earlier as well, you have the color highlighted here. After that, what we have done is created a simple map chart with the help of the sum of sales. And uh, we are doing the sales by state. So overall, very simple, straightforward. We have selected the state we have select by holding down the control key or the command key, we have hold down, we have selected sales and this particular chart is enabled, even this is enabled. So we have selected this one and what it will going to give you is this particular visualization. After that, uh, I have created a very simple trend line chart as you can see and uh, its color is also in line with what I have been using, it's present here it will be in your recent used color. So you will use it here. As you can see, I've experimented with many one and finally, uh, you know, uh, settled with this particular one. And then uh, on the label, I have uh, minimum and maximum labels over here. So minimum is here, maximum is here is what I'm showing. You have other options as well. As you can see, you can see show all, you can see sele show selected, highlighted, most recent, line ends. This is where the line is ending. So there you can basically choose that. Where do you want to show this? All right, after this, uh, a very simple KPI is what I'm creating. It's nothing but sum of sales has been, sorry, the sales has been dragged on text and it will give you sum of sales. And uh, this value total sales, what you can do is come over here in text. After sum of sales, below there, whatever you will write will come over here, as simple as this. So what I've done is in case of sum of sales, this is Tableau medium as a font and uh, 20. So font you can choose based on your organization need and keep the size little big as 20. And it's the same color again I'm choosing. Similarly, total sales is over here. 
which is again tab blue medium because I want to keep the font consistent. I don't want to have too much of distraction even from the font side. So across the dashboard, tab blue medium is something that we have used and the font size is 14. So once you click OK, uh, you need to make sure that uh, alignment is in middle over here and both for horizontal and vertical, it will be middle. And then over here in this section, you will have this as entire view. We are not doing anything to sales, but yes, in case of the previous charts like this monthly sales trend, sales by state, sales by product subcategory, sales by region, we have the chart which is formatted with the tableau medium 15 and the gray color. Because what we want is user to just read the chart title if they want uh, to read it for a moment's sake, but it should not take your attraction, if it did not, it should not take your uh, attention away from the chart. That's why we have toned it down with the help of the light gray color. All right, coming to the next KPI after after sales that I explained, we have profit again, did it in the same way, quantity, did it in the same way, and the discount, the only difference is that it is average discount. By default, it will take you the sum of the uh, discount, but that's not the right calculation as you would expect because uh, discount you do not sum, you make, you basically create an average of the discount. So that's the reason I changed the calculation from here, from sum to average, okay? And then what we have is this retail dashboard. So what I was going to do, I was creating this again, but my recording got uh, corrupted, so I'm recording this again. So what I'm doing is I'll, I'll uh, again create this in a new dashboard, and I will say N or new retail sales dashboard. Okay, I'll copy this and I will say show dashboard title. That way the title will come here. I will select this, paste it over here. I want to make it 26. That's what I've used there. Bold, tab blue medium. Make sure that you are not changing your font a lot and settle with this one. Click OK. You have this retail dashboard. Is the same what I have used it over here. Next thing is background for the entire dashboard. So I've selected it. As you can see outside, I have this component, I have this component, but I need to go slightly out and select this. That way this entire area is selected. And uh, we have the layout and within the layout, I will just select the lightest gray over here. Okay. And then I need to add a couple of containers, horizontal one container, second container below to that, third container below to that, and we will add it more as and when it is required. So this is where we need to put the KPI, which is sales, um, profit, not here. I will again do it. Okay, you were coming it earlier. Yeah, there you go. At the end and quantity at the end and discount finally at the end. So why these numbers are not coming? Because this title has taken the entire space. So what we need to do is right click, hide title, right click, click on hide title, right click, click on hide title, and finally same for discount. So that's what is coming to us as the KPI. The next thing is we need to add the image or those small icons if you have seen this over here. So what we can do is we can select the image. I will just do it for one because I don't want to keep it too long. I want to show you the main, main functionalities. And this image is something what I've downloaded from Google the, by searching, okay, what is a sales icon, which has given me sort of a bucket. So all of this thing is something you can choose or you can identify based on your needs. So based, based on wherever you have put it in your in your system, you will going to get it and you will put it over there, right? So that's where, uh, that's where your uh, icon is coming. Uh, the one thing which I could have done is I have, I could have 
toned down this uh, this particular black color because it is not going as per the you know image that we are having so what we could have done is we could have used the uh, i could have used the powerpoint where i have the option to change the color of the objects right or if you have any other software you can do that but my recommendation is or probably that's what i was going to do uh, is is change this to something which is lighter form of gray rather than black because it is taking some attention and we don't want user to get distracted too much okay so the same way you will going to do create a float object by holding down shift key drag image it will create a floating object and then you can choose it all right now let's come here and start dragging the charts all right first is the line chart what we have then we have chart by this state yeah that's where we want it we don't need this so close this and uh, we have to get one more horizontal horizontal container and after that what we need is sales my product okay sales by region all right we are here and mostly we are done now we just need to clean up this little bit clean up this little bit and make all of these three floating so come over here in more options click on floating come over here keep this floating come over here keep this floating increase its size little bit so that we can put it over here similarly category we can drag it and put it over here just try there yep and the last one over here okay we can squeeze or make their size little bit small and keep category a little bit high over there so that way if you will see uh, most of our dashboard is coming together the only thing which is pending right now is this coloring which i have given to the sheet so what you need to do is select the sheet from here go to the layout here this is the one we have chosen for the entire dashboard that's what you are seeing the lightest gray but for the sheet because i want to highlight little bit this um, this title of the dashboard so i will going to choose this one this is what i've done over there as well so select this another chart and gray select this select gray select this make it gray and that should be it so this is what finally i think i have done nothing other than that as you can see this is what it is i have done uh, the only thing is you can add all of these different images based on uh, what you have uh, what you have downloaded there and then always use use this like all or whatever you want to choose based on that the information will be updated to you uh, in the dashboard so that's mainly i wanted to show you how you can create this cleaner looking interface uh, for your business dashboard that is easy to create as you can see i think within not it's not even 30 minutes i think in close to 20 minutes we ha i have given you the entire walkthrough the only thing is you have we have to do a little bit of planning from the perspective of what are the kpis what are the charts and in which form we will going to show it so usually what i do whenever i have to show you or i have to create something for you is i put it on a paper and just uh, create some scratch or so create some uh, drawing in terms of where do i want to put what and what will be present over there and that way i can come back and and put everything on the canvas tableau canvas over here so that's that's my small uh, working strategy for my uh, tutorials even for my own work and i hope it will be useful for you as well so that's about it and i'll meet you in the new dashboard 
uh, with some different design, different maybe data set, some, something around on those lines. All right, so with that, till then, thank you so much for watching.